Hi, good morning guys. So it is Tuesday and it is a weigh-in time. All right, so I'm gonna step on the scale. Um, we're gonna see what it says, see how much I lost, and then I gotta let you guys go so I can finish getting ready for work and I'll catch you later after work. So let me turn you guys around and we will see what I weigh. So one second. All right, so I'm gonna step on the scale and let it zero out. And then we'll see what it says. It wants to. Okay. So, um, you want to take off 1.75 for clothes, so roughly 168, which means I lost three and a half pounds. So, not exactly my goal and not where I was hoping. I was hoping three to, or four to five, but I'm not going to get down on myself. I'm going to pick myself back up and I am going to do better this week. Um, I'm doing the fasting, so hopefully maybe that will help. So go ahead and stay tuned for the rest of my vlog for later on this evening and afternoon. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Um, I'm getting ready to head to work, but I wanted to jump on real quick and tell you guys that I am um, not wearing any makeup because I said it yesterday in my vlog. My daughter is going to do my makeup today, so I'm makeup free today. Anyways, I wanted to show you guys that cleanser that I got in the Lure Box um, and then that serum. I mean, my face, look at this. It looks so much better already. Like, my pores aren't as bad. They don't look oily. I've got shine to my skin. And my skin just feels very clean and moisturized and healthy. So, in, in like, less than 24 hours, I feel it already working. I'm totally going to go online, use those codes I got for the serum and the cleanser, and buy some full-size ones for sure. All right, I just wanted to update you guys about that real quick, but I am headed off to work. And I will vlog later sometime when I get off work and get done with my doctor's appointment. So I hope you all have a good day. Bye. All right. Hi, guys. So I don't even honestly know where to start with today, to be honest. Um, so I did my weigh-in this morning. You guys saw that clip in the beginning. I went to work. I only worked till 2.30. Um, I was going to stay till 3, but I have some business to take care of after work. Um, so yesterday I sent in my mailbox, my outgoing box, um, a package with a dress in it to ship off to someone that I sold the item to. And then my latest Nadine West bag, I put in my outgoing um, box to ship back the items that I didn't keep. I went down there about 6, 7 o'clock and then went back down to, to put the packages in the mailbox and then went back down around 9 or 10 to do my laundry. The packages were not in the mailbox. So I just thought, okay, the post postal service is so messed up right now that maybe they are having someone come through and pick up packages and then, you know, the regular person delivery mail at regular time. Um, I have no way to track the Nadine West without them giving me a tracking number when it's been sent back to them. Well, I mean, I mean I'm sure there's a tracking number on the prepaid envelope or prepaid return label they give you, but I honestly never keep track of that. So I didn't have that number. But I have a tracking number for Mercari um, for the item that I sold on Mercari. So I was like, I'm just going to wait. Maybe they haven't got it scanned in yet. Maybe it will show up tomorrow morning. All day did not show up by the time I got off work. At that point, I knew something was wrong because it would have. I always have things. Um, I've actually never had it. If it's been picked up in the later afternoon, evening time for my postal service, it's actually always been scanned in at least that night. It's never been a 24-hour thing. So after work, I went to the post office, told them what had happened, and asked if they had the packages. Um, they did not, and they asked me for tracking information. I could only give them the Macari one, and their tracking shows postal service never received it. Just I created the label. So we have some pretty scum punk kids that live about not kids, well, not kids, they're, they're adults, stupid. but whatever. About two apartments down from us. Everybody's had issues with these guys. Everybody like. It's, it's been ridiculous with these people. And I don't know how many times we have called our rental company or emailed them or told them about stuff that was going on and they have done jack. I'm like this close to moving my family to a different place. Like I'm so, so done, so done with it. Anyways, um, so pretty sure they stole them yesterday. So the postal service obviously recommended calling the police, which I was already going to do. My husband wanted me to do that without even contacting the post office, but I had a feeling they would at least ask me if I contacted the police if I had checked with my post office first. And I wanted to kind of 
not think the worst. Unfortunately, deep down, I knew that's what happened. So um, I contacted the police. There isn't much that they can do, but they said they are going to look into it. They're going to open a case. And just because we don't know for sure who it was, even though I have my suspicions on him, and they gave me a case number that I am now going to have to email to Nadine West and Makari. I have already spoken to the lady that bought, that bought the dress, and um, we've already came up with an agreement on an item that I'm going to ship out to her and not put out in my outgoing box anymore, which I always do that, always. I've been doing this for over a year, all the time, and I've never had this issue. I, it's, oh my God. Anyways, so... I've worked it out with her, but I still have to get a hold of Makari because it's going to show that I never shipped that item. Um, I'm pretty sure they're going to refund her and I won't get the money for it. But, I mean, whatever. She's paying me for another item. Anyways, um, so I did email Nadine West and told them what was going on and asked for their tracking to give to the postal service or the police officer, but they never got back to me. Um, and then... I'm going to have to email them back now and give them that case number. Um, my biggest concern is my biggest concern is the fact that with Nadine West, if you don't send a package back, they assume you kept everything and they charge your card. I cannot have my card charged almost $166, especially for three items that I didn't keep. There's three items I sent back. One I really love or would have loved to have kept. If you guys saw that video, that dress, but I couldn't. It was too big. So I have these punk people right down there for me. They have, they have another car. Either, either they have taken these items and sold them because they're junkies, or for whatever reason, the chick that lives there is going to be wearing these items, which she's way smaller than me. And this stuff was even... Lily, I'm trying to oh, talk. Sorry. This stuff was even too big for me, like you guys saw with that dress. So, but I tell you what, if I see her wearing an item, I will take a picture and it will go to the police. I will be giving them proof and they're going to have charges brought against them. And I will let, not right now, I will let Nadine West know because at this point, I'm now the middleman when it comes to the Nadine West package because they have essentially stolen from Nadine West, not me, because these are items that I was not keeping that I sent back or that I was trying to send back to Nadine West. So now I have to email them again, give them that information. I don't know what's going to come of it with them. I don't know their policy. I don't know if they have insurance. I don't know if because I made this police report, I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be charged for these items. I mean, I'm in really good standing with them. Never once a lie, never once not ship something back. Never, you know, always paid. Very good standing. I'm a VIP member. I get 25% off of each item I receive in my back for my review videos. Violet gets her 15% off for her review videos. Like, I don't know. I've been such a loyal customer. And I don't want this to ruin my reputation with them either. I'm just very pissed off. Like, very much pissed off. Like, and very, very frustrated right now. Like, this has not been a very good day at all. I mean, luckily, I have not done what I would have in the past and emotionally eat my feelings away. I actually haven't ate yet at all today. I mean, I, I'm i doing my fasting, so I'm really not supposed to. I planned to have breakfast, but when I woke up, I had a bad feeling in my stomach about this, and I was not feeling like eating. So, for once, I didn't eat my feelings away. I don't want to eat. So anyways, that has been my day today. Um, I am still supposed to do my workout, and I think I'm still going to. Why is Violet calling your phone? Why don't you actually look before I have someone call? I think I am still going to do the workout with Lillian. It might take some of this frustrations off, and we're still going to do our walk. I have tomorrow off. Hopefully tomorrow's a better day. I am excited for my day off tomorrow, not just because I don't have to go to work, <laughs> but because I'm going to be doing... I get ready with me with some new makeup products and a new brand. It's going to be pre, yeah, besides my primer, everything I'm going to be using is from this new brand. So make sure you stay tuned and you watch out for that upload of that video. I'm going to try to get it up to you guys early afternoon. Um, so definitely make sure you watch that. I'm super excited to try this brand. I haven't tried any of it. I have a foundation, um, a color corrector pen, which I've never used. Um, I picked that up today with 
a foundation from the company on my lunch break, and then a concealer from this company, and then a bronzer and a highlighter. Um, so the only thing I guess I won't be using from this brand will be the primer, which is the pore, fesh, the pore Fessional Primer that I talked about a little bit yesterday, and then probably my eyeshadow because I don't have any eyeshadow from this brand, which I think they carry it, but I don't really like a lot of glittery eyeshadow, and I tried... No, I tried to, I tried to look um, today on my lunch break when I picked up the concealer. It, it was called a twin pack. It's they have the concealer on one end of the pin, and then on the other it's the color corrector. This is all gonna be new to me, so don't laugh if I suck at it tomorrow because I've never used color corrector. So I'm not sure how to do that. I don't know. I'm gonna have to Google it and see if maybe I put the color corrector on, um, which is I'm gonna put under my eyes, um, and I got the. Um, color yellow is so that yellow is what you want to get for like un dark circles under your eyes and blue and that's what I've got under my eyes um, and then put your concealer down don't know gonna have to google it before this video tomorrow um, but I just did not I just don't like really glittery eyeshadow I feel like it just makes such a mess so I yeah so it'll just be two items I think that will not be from this brand, but I'm really excited to try it out. Really excited. And the good thing is two of the items I got from Alta yesterday, and if it doesn't work out, like they said, you even if it's open and used and it isn't like my shade or I don't like it, I can return and get my money back. But I'm super excited to try it. And it's all organic, so it is good for your skin. And it really was not that expensive. I'll let you guys know. It might get ready with me tomorrow, the price of everything. Um, and if you have noticed, doesn't my skin look a little better, guys? You want to know why? Want to know why? I mean, obviously, it's not 100% perfect. Sorry for the weird, awkward close-up. Close However, it's because I used our serum. Hey, look. There's, there's one of the chicks from next door. And it looks like... They've got to be outside because their dog's outside. Maybe I should go ask her if she's wearing any of my items, right? God, I really want to go over and write on their freaking door. I know I'm sounding like such a child right now, but I want to write on their door. Thieves. Oh, and I did write a nice little note for him, though. Don't worry. I did. There was a nice little note. Wrote, by yours truly, and put by the outgoing box that stated that whoever stole packages... You might want to return them because I got the police involved and the postal service involved. So I don't know how often they go down there and check their mail, but that letter is staying there. And if someone takes and throws it away, I'll write another one. I will email the rental company as well, but they ain't going to do jack shit about it. Trust me. They haven't done jack shit about these people since they moved in months ago. Anyways, I don't really want to talk much more about them because I was getting really happy and excited about this makeup talk. Um, where was I? I don't remember. Oh yeah, yeah, my face just feels so good and it looks really good and healthy again. I use that new serum from my Ulta Beauty Box and then that cleanser as well. That cleanser is only $12.99 and then I have a 25% discount code in the little booklet they gave. Totally buying that, totally going online buying that because that will give us a full size. Right now we just have a sample size of it and I feel like it works really well. Um, they did charge my card last night for June's Allure Box. So that sounds like it's going to get styled soon and sent to us. I'm super excited. Our Ipsy bag is on the way. I don't know when we'll have it. Um, I know that the last one got here a little earlier, a couple days earlier than it said it was going to. So that was exciting. Um, the only crappy thing about that is <laughs> the items that I picked for, um, for my add-ons were kind of like shimmery highlighter. And right now with the issue with my face and my pores, even though it does look better after using that stuff last night and feels better, I don't want to put shimmer on my face yet. So what a bummer. I don't think I'll be able to use it. But I might like on say a day that I'm going to be home on a day off and I'm not going to really be out and about at all or not much at all. I might go ahead and wear like one of my shimmery eye or highlighters because hold on Lily. Because I gave the girls some of my makeup that isn't working for me right now. Um, and then like the contour and um, highlighter packet that I have in my husband's home. So I'm going to get off because I need to speak with him. Anyways, I gave that stuff to the girls. Um, but I did keep my Elf Baked highlighter because I really do like that one. 
All right, I'm going to let you go, but we will see you soon for our workout because, like I said, still doing it. It will help get some aggravation out of me and our walk. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye. All right, hey, guys. So <laughs> I am wearing my sunglasses because if you guys watched that very brave video of me letting Lily do my makeup, we're on our walk. I ain't letting people see that. <laughs> Oh my God, didn't want to hurt her feelings, but holy cow. <laughs> it's okay though. Honestly, like I was totally cool and fine with her making me look however she wanted to make me look or however it turned out. Like she's a 10 year old, you know, she's got to learn how to do makeup. So I let her do it. And you know what? Honestly, she did really good on the lipstick, probably better than I did yesterday when I put it on. And I actually like this color. What do you guys think? I think it's a good color. I am not really much of a lipstick person, but the color I wore yesterday and this color is super cute anyways um so I'm not sure oh I hate this I'm not sure if I'm gonna get the work out in today because I totally forgot that I had meds to pick up and I have to get them picked up tonight because I have to take them first thing in the morning and I'm out so it's 6 30 kids have to go to bed at 8 we're doing our walk so what I think is gonna happen is we probably will not get to the workout tonight we're doing the walk though, so that's good. Um, so we will definitely be doing it tomorrow and I will probably do it Thursday or you know what? I'm not going to like give an actual day on when I'm going to do. I'm not going to do set days because I feel like every time I do, I end up something comes up. So for sure tomorrow though, because it's my day off and I have more time in the day to do it. But as far as like the days where I have to work, I'm just going to end up doing it. So, and I am going to do them three times this week. We've already done it once. We're definitely going to be doing it tomorrow because I'll have more time. And tomorrow is Wednesday. So I still have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I still have four days this week to get at least one more in, possibly two. So we will get those three workouts in today. Um, as far as dinner, I have not eight yet. It's not seven yet. But I think I will... Since we're going to be out um, grabbing my meds, I will go ahead and probably pick up a salad and maybe have something else with it. I'm not sure what yet. Um, let's see. What should I have with it? I think I'm going to have a lot of checks mixed with it with my dinners. So I don't think I'm going to pick up some more of that because I am out. But I don't think I'm going to have that with it. I think I'll have some veggies. You know, because I already got veggies in it. Some fruit. There we go. I'll probably have some blueberries and strawberries. No, we're going that way because I told you we have to go that way tonight, Lillian. I'm sorry, sweetie. We've been going. We went that way last night. We can go. We can go that way tomorrow. But Dad and I have to go get my meds. We will go that way tomorrow. I promise. We might even do two walks tomorrow since I have tomorrow off. We'll see. We'll see how tomorrow goes. And we're not going to be able to get the workout done, Lily, because we just aren't going to have time. However, we are doing it tomorrow. And I think on like the days where I work, I'm not going to set the day. You know, I'm just going to say, okay, Lily, let's do the workout. We have the time. Because I feel like every time I try to get it scheduled for a day, we well, run out of time. We're not doing it. Well, we run out of time. Exactly. So like tomorrow for sure. We did it yesterday. We only have one day. Lily, I'm talking to you. We did it yesterday. We're for sure doing it tomorrow. And we only have one more day. And we have four days left this week. So we'll get it. We'll get the third one done. Are you wearing that perfume? Yeah. It smells really good on you. All right. So about my way in this morning. Honestly, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I, was, I wasn't super bummed. But I was a little bummed that I didn't lose the five pounds. It definitely was not <laughs> the start to my lovely, fantastic day. And that is complete sarcasm. But, right. <laughs> Sorry about the rant from earlier, by the way. I'm just still so pissed off about that. <laughs> you guys can go watch that video if you want to see my makeup. I'm not taking these glasses off. And I'm taking my shot off when we get home. Because I'm going to the store. Anyways, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So... Yeah, I was a little bummed. I wasn't super bummed, just a little. But, you know, I did lose, and I almost lost four. I was so close to four pounds. So I do have to say, I didn't gain three. <laughs> so that was a plus. Um, I just feel like I'm getting older, and I'm just not losing the weight as well as I used to lose it. So I just kind of have to accept that and move on, right? At least I'm losing. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog. 
Um, oh, I've had four things of water and one Pepsi. I did have a Pepsi after work. And I've had only four things of water, but I am, no, sorry, not four, six. That's right, because I put two water bottles, two, like, of the water bottles I normally drink into a water bottle at work. So I've had six, never mind. Either way, I will hit that eight mark before bed, because um, I'm almost done with my six. So I only have two left to do, and it's only 6.30, so... All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and let you go, but I do want to say thank you so much for watching, for everyone who does watch, and for everyone who comments and gives us support and love. It means a lot. And if you are new to this channel and you just happen to watch this video, please subscribe and go watch the video of Lily and do my makeup. And thank you to everyone who is subscribed and they come and watch. Um, I did get my um, money taken out of my Allure box last night so that means our June box is on its way and I'm super excited to have the June one super excited to hopefully get some more good skincare hopefully some makeup in this one that would be nice but like I said skincare right now is like a high priority for me with everything going on with my face so all for another full skincare box but a little bit of makeup would be nice to be thrown in there right all right guys I'm gonna go ahead and let you go but I'll catch you tomorrow thank you so much for watching bye